All right. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Brandon Fields, and I'm with the New Mexico College Access Council. We're excited to have you here today with us uh, for our college presentation panel. Uh, today, uh, we do have six institutions here uh, who will be talking to you about what their institution has to offer. How it's going to be set up is each institution uh, will have six minutes uh, to give an overview of their college or university. And then we'll leave it up at the end to questions and answers. So if you think of questions throughout the presentation, feel free to message or comment uh, on the chat and we will get to them at the end. Um, so today's presentation, we have the University of New Mexico with us, Western New Mexico University, New Mexico Tech, Institute of American Indian Arts, the University of New Mexico Valencia campus, uh, and then Northern New Mexico College. Uh, so with that, uh, the first one up uh, is going to be Josiah with the University of New Mexico. Awesome, thank you. Um, I'll start by introducing myself. My name is Josiah. I'm here with the admission office um, at the University of New Mexico. So I have a quick slideshow for you guys just on quick points about UNM. Um, so welcome here today. Definitely appreciate, appreciate you guys being here. Um, we, so why choose UNM? So from artists and adventurers to engineers and inventors, Lobos create a collaborative environment unlike any other. With over 200 academic programs and expert faculty from all over the world, you can define your future at the University of New Mexico. So as far as different degree programs, we offer over 200 different programs. So basically anything that you want to study, we do pretty much have. Um, we have subject areas under arts and humanities, business and policy, health sciences, science, technology, and engineering, and teaching and learning. Um, so if you guys have any questions, I'm more than welcome to, um, I'm, I'm more than willing to answer those for you. If, if you have a specific field in mind that you want to go into and you don't know what major to choose, just because we usually do have that available or through our liberal arts college, you could actually create your own degree. You can see our full list of degrees offered at degrees.unm.edu. One thing that's really great about UNM is that we are considered an R1, which stands for Research One University. So that basically means that any um, program on campus or major does have the capability or is already conducting research. So this goes into pretty um, intensive research or even just small scale research as well. So that's something that's really great to take advantage of. As far as um, on-campus housing, we usually do have a live-in requirement for your first year here if you don't live within 30 miles of the university. We're unsure if that's gonna happen again for the fall of 2021. We'll wait and see how the pandemic kind of plays out a little bit, but you're more than welcome to look at the different housing options at housing.unm.edu. We do have traditional style housing, suite style and apartment style to fit whatever need that you may want. GPAs usually tend to be a lot higher if you live on campus as well. So I always encourage students, even if you live in Albuquerque, to live on campus. So something that is really great about coming to a university is that you get to join different clubs and organizations, and we have over 400 of them. So I always suggest to take advantage of that. And then also UNM puts on really fun events, um, a lot of dance parties, free food opportunities. So that's something that's really cool. And um, take advantage of it while you're an undergrad, because you'll miss it after if you, um, if you never went to any of them. As far as Lobo Athletics, UNM students get in free to all Lobo home games. So just know that if you come here to UNM, um, you can go watch a game for free at the pit or a football game. Anything that's played here in Albuquerque, you, go, you can go ahead and watch that for free. Usually your tickets get emailed to you before, the, um, before each season of the sport. So talking on scholarships. So to go through these really quickly, since I don't have too much time, just know that the Regents and Presidential Scholarship are high achieving. We're only looking at unweighted cumulative GPA, and those do have specific applications that you have to fill out. You can find those applications and the full list of scholarships at scholarship.unm.edu. And that deadline is December 1st. So you have to apply, be admitted first, and then you can go ahead and apply to the scholarship after you've been admitted, and everything has to be in by December 1. The rest of the scholarships I'll talk about, those are just, um, you have to apply to UNM, be admitted, by December 1st. There's no specific application for those. So just know that you wouldn't need to be looking out for those. So for the Woodward, we're looking for a 4.0 unweighted cumulative GPA, UNM scholars 3.85 to 3.99 unweighted cumulative GPA, UNM achievers 3.60 to 3.84 unweighted cumulative. And then the Bridge to Success and the Success Grant, those are $1,000 scholarships for just your first semester. The ones that I previously went through are good for all four years. 
And so for the bridge, we're just looking for a 3.30 to 3.59, and then the success grant 2.5 to 3.29. So it's very possible to get a scholarship to help you to attend UNM. And then the last one on here is just a global aim to achieve. So just know that if you come here to UNM and you graduate in four years or less, your last semester, you do not have to pay your tuition for that. So that's basically a free semester. So just an incentive. So once you're already here, you don't have to worry about applying for this right now or anything in specific. As far as our admissions process, really simple. I suggest just to apply to UNM. It's a really easy process. You can go online and apply, uh, apply at apply.unm.edu. There's usually a $25 app fee, but if you um, take down my email at the end of this and um, email me that you filled out the app today, um, I can go ahead and waive that $25 app fee for you. And once you submit that, all we're gonna need is your unweighted cumulative GPA. Um, I'm sorry, your uh, official high school transcript looking at your unweighted cumulative GPA. So we're looking for just about a 2.5. So it's very doable. If you're just a, around that area, still apply because we can offer alternative um, admissions process offers. Um, and then if you've taken any dual credit, just know that you can send those in at any time. You don't have to send them in with your application um, just before you come and attend UNM um, next summer. And there's my contact information if you wanna take a picture of it, my email, my phone number and then the um, admissions website and then the scholarship website to see the scholarship applications and then just the specifics on each of our scholarships. All right, thank you so much. Next up uh, is Western New Mexico University. Thank you, Brandon. Welcome everybody. My name is Luis Figueroa. I'm your admissions recruiter. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you very quickly about why you should choose Western New Mexico University and what makes us unique. So let me go ahead and share my screen and show you what the university looks like. So Western New Mexico University is situated in Silver City, New Mexico, right next to the Gila National Forest. As New Mexico's only public applied liberal arts and science university, WNMU is preparing graduates with the skills, the knowledge, and the courage to face the future's challenges with confidence. Our mission for over 127 years has always remained the same in empowering and meeting the needs of our community. We have remained grounded in our values of innovation and creativity, integrity, intellectual curiosity, personal responsibility, service to the university and community, and student success. But it's not only that, it's about the culture at Western. Here at WNMU, we're a Hispanic serving institution, and we're one of the founding members of the Hispanic Association of Colleges and Universities, otherwise known as HACU. We're also home of the only competitive university mariachi program in New Mexico, which is our award-winning mariachi plata. Some of the other things that make us distinct is our university museum, our light hall theater, and our annual Fiesta Latina events. WNMU offers over 70 different programs to study, everything ranging from A to Z. We offer certificate programs, associates, bachelors, and master's programs. So whatever you're looking for, we can help you achieve that goal. And in fact, some of the programs that I wanna specifically point out right now is our School of Education. Our School of Education was recently received an A plus for diversity by the National Council on Teacher Quality. Our online social work program is ranked number one out of 533 accredited programs in the nation. And not to mention, but we are the only ones in the region to offer a zoology program. So if you're looking, or if you're a student that, has a, that, that is looking for animal science, we have the only zoology program in the region. We're also the only ones in New Mexico that offers a forestry and wildlife law enforcement program that directly prepares you to be a game warden. Let's not forget our dual enrollment program. Our dual enrollment opportunities are expanding to all the schools in our region, and we're providing applied technology training for all the workforce needs of our area in the state of New Mexico. Also, if you take classes at WNMU, you're gonna be in a small classroom size, 18 students to one professor. You're gonna have that opportunity to work very closely with our, with our professors, including research opportunities as well, where we pay our students to go to these workshops, go to these conferences and develop their own research. Now we know that you're a real person because I see you, I'm looking at you, okay? We know that there's real challenges that you're gonna encounter when you come to college. We offer several different opportunities, several different services for our students, including academic support, our one stop, which fights food insecurities for our students, technology resources, and health services, which is more important now than ever. 
Also, when you live on campus here at WNMU, you're gonna live in luxury. You're gonna have, you're gonna, when you live on campus with us, you're gonna have your own bedroom. You're not sleeping on a bunk bed. You're not touching toes with your neighbor. You're sleeping in your own bedroom. How nice is that? It's also statistically proven that when students live on campus, you'll have a higher GPA, you stay involved on campus, and you'll graduate within the four-year time frame. Talking about staying involved on campus, we have over 130 different campus activities and over 30 different student clubs. So there's going to be opportunities for you to get involved and get connected with the university community. Oh, and let's not forget, when you come to Western, you're going to be able to enjoy some giant marshmallows to add to your s'mores. We also participate at the NCAA Division II level. We're in the Lone Star Conference. As a former captain of the cross country team, I can tell you that you're gonna be competing at an elite level while also trying to balance out your academic life. It's doable. I know I could do it. I know you can do it. Now, we are one of the most affordable uh, schools out there, but we still understand that it's gonna be expensive for some students. That's why we offer over a hundred different scholarship opportunities for our students, ranging from merit-based to athletics to student leadership opportunities. Talk to me more about what kind of scholarships I can help you find. To begin your adventure here at WNMU, the first step you'll need to do is to apply for admission. WNMU is an open enrollment university, which means there is no minimum GPA. There is no minimum ACT or ACT score requirement to get accepted into the university. But we will use that information for scholarships. So if you have a good GPA, great. There's going to be a scholarship available for you. If you don't have a not, a not so good GPA, don't worry. There's still opportunities for you. Some important deadlines for you to consider while you're going into the, this holiday break, Remember December 1st for a lot of your scholarship deadlines. Apply to admissions, complete your FAFSA before that deadline, and guess what? You're gonna be at the top of the list for scholarship consideration. Lastly, as a former graduate of, of Western New Mexico University, I can tell you that your experience here is gonna be very unique. Also, your career opportunities afterwards are gonna be endless. I want you to follow us on social media, check out what our students are doing, what we're doing at the university as well. Once again, I'm going to be your admissions recruiter, Luis Figueroa. Go Mustangs. All right. Thank you, Luis. All right. Next up is Jared with New Mexico Tech. All right. Let me pull this up real quick. All right. All right, so my name is Jared Cervantes. I'm the admission advisor for New Mexico Tech. Um, I cover Northern New Mexico as my territory. Um, so if you're from that area, um, you've probably seen me out and about before, um, but just run through our slides real quick. Um, so something that we are excited about um, that we just recently decided is that we are now going test optional. Um, so our admission requirements, um, if you're a high school graduate, all you're gonna be required is just to meet our 2.5 GPA requirement. Um, you don't need to worry about the ACT or SAT score anymore. Um, if you've already taken your ACT or SAT or you're planning on taking it in the future, um, it will still kind of help you with course placement, uh, but you don't need that for admission at this point. Um, we do also accept any dual credit, AP credit, IB credit that you might be taking as well. Um, so if you're taking any of those, send us your test scores, um, your college transcript, and we'll make sure you get credit for those. Um, so at Tech, you're not just a number, just to kind of throw some numbers out there, we are a very small school. Um, we're just a little under 1900 students, and that's total both undergrad and graduate. Um, so we usually have around a 12 to 1 student to faculty ratio. Um, your average class sizes are going to be about 20 to 25 students for lectures. Um, largest class size would be about 60 students. That's if you have to take uh, your freshman chemistry classes still. Um, even that being your largest class, though, Professors know majority of the students on a first name basis within the first month or so of class. Um, perk of that as well, all of our lectures, freshman level all the way up, are taught by the professors as well. So you're not going to have lectures taught by grad students or anything like that. You're always going to be dealing directly with your professors. Um, and so the small class sizes combined with that, you really get to build really great relationships with your professors. Um, smallest class sizes, down to one, those are generally independent studies. Um, I've walked by lectures, though, with three, four students in a lecture. Um, so it's kind of cool. You can sometimes get almost a personalized lecture in a way. Um, and then the lab courses, about 10 to 12 students on average. Um, 
So it kind of gives you a sense of that. Really, the small class sizes bring a really great sense of community at New Mexico Tech as well. Um, so the programs that we offer, these are our College of Engineering programs. Um, any of the programs that you see on this slide or the following slide that have the asterisk next to them, um, those are programs that we offer a combined five-year bachelor's and master's degree program. Um, you apply for those your junior year with us at New Mexico Tech. Um, so that's something you can think about later on down the line, but just so you know that those are offered. Um, mostly we are going to be science and engineering degrees, STEM degrees, um, but we do have some additional degrees as well. So you can see on this page, we have a management degree. Um, it's very entrepreneur driven. Um, there's management of technology as well, which focuses a little bit more directly with managing like an uh, uh, engineering firm um, or a tech company, something along those lines. Um, and of course, we always have to mention our explosives engineering program. Uh, we do have our own explosives pro explosives range on campus um, where they do a bunch of really cool testing and research at. Um, and then the College of Arts and Sciences. Um, so I went to tech. I'm a tech grad. I graduated. It'll be five years ago now in December. Um, I did biology. I loved my time there. That department was awesome. Um, going back to talking about professors, I actually had a professor, if I had an hour to kill between classes, I would just kind of sit and hang out in his office um, if he was there. Whether or not I had questions about class, we could just sit and talk about anything, which was really cool. Um, also like to point out the physics department. We are one of only five schools in the entire country that offers concentrations in both astro and atmospheric physics. Um, have great resources for both. Um, atmospheric physics has a research center on campus that does lightning research, astrophysics, we have an observatory on campus. Um, the school also runs the Magdalena Ridge Observatory um, and works very closely with the Very Large Array Telescope as well. Um, so clubs and activities that we have to offer, just to highlight some. Um, most academic departments have professional clubs. We do have uh, Greek life on campus, so we do have a sorority and a fraternity if you're interested in that. We don't have NCAA sports, but we do have club teams that still travel, play other schools in the state and surrounding states, get competitive. Um, the gym puts on intramural sports as well. Um, then we have a ton of random just for fun clubs. Um, I was like talking about the food clubs. We've in the past had cereal club, sushi club, tea club, waffle club, um, taco club. So it's really easy to start clubs, which is why we have kind of all these crazy clubs. Um, some additional stuff as well. We have a full 18 hole championship golf course on campus. Uh, we have a swimming pool that's open year round. Uh, we have our gym, the weight room and everything just got remodeled, which is super nice. Um, and being that we're located down in Socorro, kind of a rural town, um, outdoor activities, um, hiking, mountain bike trails, the river, all that kind of stuff is really great around us. Um, so the scholarships to talk about. Um, so these ones are all going to be applied for with um, just your application for admission. So they're all going to be merit-based. These are all now going to be um, awarded based strictly off of your GPA with the exception of the presidential. We will still require the national merit finalist certificate for that. Um, tech tuition assistance, that's kind of our form of the bridge for your first semester while you're qualifying for the lottery. Um, we give you $1,400 that first semester just as long as you're admitted to New Mexico Tech. Um, and we do stack all of these scholarships full value on top of the lottery scholarship. Um, as well as stacking any FAFSA money um, or third party scholarships that you get as well. Uh -huh. There we go. Um, and then just some links kind of for the ending here. We are doing one on one visits that you can sign up for on our website. Um, we're doing first Fridays of the month uh, virtual info session and campus tour as well. Um, and then there's the tour application as well as our contact information. Um, all of those links you can find on our main admission webpage, um, as well as some additional ones. Um, but it's pretty much everything I have for you guys. Uh, so I'll go and stop that. Thank you so much, Jared. I know we had a lot join us. Uh, so please enjoy these presentations. We have three more to go, and then we'll open it up for questions at the end. So next up is Institute of American Indian Arts. All right, uh, can you hear me, Brandon? Yes, you're good Sweet. to go. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Warrior Brown. I'm, the Insta I'm from the Institute of American Indian Arts. And I briefly wanted to talk to you guys about our pretty cool institution. Um, our institution is really focused on the arts. So we don't have engineering or physics or any of the really cool uh, degree programs that a lot of the other um, institutions offer. Um, but before I get to that, you know, I just kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit about the statistics behind our school. So 
we are smaller compared to much larger universities out there. We only had about 600 students um, as of fall, um, with only about 371 uh, students located on campus. Um, one thing that's very unique about IAIA is the how diverse we are. Um, out of that 600 students, we, we represent about 93 different tribes um, that are spread out throughout the US. So um, a majority of the tribes come from New Mexico. Um, however, we get tribes from you know, all over the, the country. And um, a part of that, you know, a part of our name, a lot of people get mistaken sometimes. They always say, oh, it, you guys are really made for Native American students. No, in fact, uh, we represent also 25% of our students are non-native. So if you know any students who are also non-native, who are, who are also very talented artists or musicians or filmmakers, uh, definitely shout out our name. You know, IAIA um, represents a pretty diverse student population. Um, out of that um, 614 headcount, uh, we have an eight to one student to faculty ratio, uh, which we're very proud of. And that really, you know, goes down to spending a lot of um, time with the students, um, especially when you're pursuing the arts, you know, you really want to have that dedicated time um, that is dedicated from your professors. So um, we take great pride in that. A lot of our students, you know, really appreciate that. So um, I, for example, you know, I went to ASU and when I, I still am going to ASU and I, I feel like a number there, um, I'm having these long, you know, holds on my phone and it just, it seems like a, it's kind of a hassle at times. So we really want to eliminate that process and really just kind of put a lot of focus on our students. So let's talk a little bit more about our degree programs. You know, as I mentioned earlier, we're, our main focus is on the arts. Um, so we offer, you know, degree programs in the studio arts, creative writing, um, museum studies, cinematic arts and technology, uh, indigenous liberal studies and the performing arts. Um, so if you guys want to hear a little bit more about this, I'll put my uh, contact information down below. I can keep rambling on about these programs, but um, we are located directly in Santa Fe, and that really adds to the art programs that we have here. A lot of the students that are involved in these art programs actually go off to pursue um, bigger opportunities. Um, for example, our cinematic arts and technology program, um, a lot of students actually go off to work in big production studios like Netflix and Albuquerque. And, uh, you know, they have internships with Disney sometimes. Uh, so it's definitely an awesome um, art school if you're looking to get more in, in, in the realm of art. art. Okay, so um, let's get that page. Um, the cost of tuition here at IAIA is uh, extremely affordable. Um, just recently this year, we had about a 25% um, tuition reduction in online classes and 10% um, tuition reduction for in-person classes. So if you decide to uh, come here to IAIA, uh, you're looking to pay about $2,200 per semester. Um, that's roughly around $185 per credit. Um, so it's, it's extremely affordable if you decided to go to a, you know, a pretty cool art school, especially considering a film school. Um, it is the best film school for your buck. And um, let's move on to our resident center housing. We also offer student housing um, and family housing. So I kind of want to focus more on the, you know, the dorms. Uh, if you do plan to come here to IAIA, IAIA uh, and if you are looking to stay in the dorms, uh, it would cost you about $2,328 per semester. So your total cost here to come to IAIA in total would be roughly less than $7,000. Um, you know, compared to larger institutions, you're looking to pay about 10,000. So um, anyway, you can save a buck. And uh, I should also mention that a part of the tuition costs, um, you wouldn't have to worry about your books. Um, that's totally included. Um, the only thing that you would really have to worry about buying is uh, your art utensils. Um, if you are looking to go into the film program, you really, um, we have our tech room. So you're able to check out, you know, any cameras, booms, um, audio equipment that you might need, lighting equipment. Um, it's all entirely inclusive, so you won't have to worry about buying any of the fancy cameras. Um, as you progress up into the programs, uh, you know, we'll offer you a little bit more in terms of the resources um, that are available to you as art students. Um, next, I kind of want to briefly touch base on the scholarships that we offer here at IAIA. So we offer the tribal scholarship, first of all, for some of you tribal students out there. Uh, this is for any student who are in financial need and uh, is, um, has tribal documentation. So right off the back, if you are a full-time student and you qualify for both of those uh, criteria, we give you $500 off the back and then 250 for part-time students. Um, we also offer a merit-based scholarship that kind of goes up. You know, it sounds like a lot of other institutions offer that as well. So it's pretty similar, you know, um, 3.0 to 4.9 is 500, uh, 3.5 to 8.9 is 750, and then 3.9 to 4.0 is the, the big one, you know, $1,000. So um, lastly, we offer the general application scholarship which is a single paper that you fill out, you turn into your uh, 
you turn it into our financial aid office and we do the scholarship searching for you. So we'll apply the single scholarship to various other scholarships and you wouldn't have to do any of the work. So that's also a plus. Um, last I wanna mention is our virtual tours. You can check out on our website. So definitely check out our um, virtual tours that, um, are on, that are on our website. There's a little link right there, but if you wanna know more about it, definitely um, let me know. Um, and lastly, really quick, uh, this is our 15 to finish program. Um, basically, if you finish within four years, uh, the last year of your um, education is free here at IAIA. I'm sorry, your tuition is free. Um, there's a quick uh, my contact information, but don't worry about it. I'll put it down below. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you, Warrior. All right. Next up is Rita with the University of New Mexico Valencia campus. Rita, you're muted. Sorry about that. Um, thank you guys uh, for joining us today. I appreciate you um, hanging out and listening to everybody. It's a lot of information. So we'll just um, walk on it on through there. And then if, um, if we have any questions, uh, I'd be happy to answer them as we go along. Um, so um, I just want to, the slides I'm going to share with today are going to be a little bit about our community college. Um, we are uh, part of the UNM family. Um, UNM Valencia is just south of Albuquerque. We um, belong part of, of, like I said, the UNM family. And so we're part of um, Los Alamos and Taos and Gallup. And um, of course, all of those um, uh, branches um, will transfer credits uh, for two-year programs over to UNM Maine or to any other four-year university if you're um, looking at a four-year degree. Um, the big um, difference between us and uh, four-year college is tuition. So that's why I started with this slide. Um, our tuition is going to be considerably less for your first two years of college um, that um, you can use to apply to a four-year degree. Um, so that's what this slide talks a little bit about, the um, New Mexico Bridge to Success Scholarship and, um, and what our credit hour is. So our credit hour is $78 um, per credit hour. Most college credits, as you guys have been hearing, um, are going to run a, a college class is going to run about three college credits per, um, per class. So it gives you a good comparison. Um, applying to our campus is really super easy. Um, it's uh, unm.edu slash apply. Um, we are um, not charging for um, admissions at this time. Um, you would just simply collect the, click on the pay later option. Um, you can include your um, high school um, uh, uh, transcript and your, or your GED. Um, and if you've taken any dual credit classes, by all means, we, we want to see what that looks like. Um, a lot of our surrounding schools, um, uh, high schools, have participated in dual credit as some of the other um, participants mentioned. So that's definitely gets you um, uh, some experience in college and um, some credits as you go along and into your um, degree program. Uh, we do accept paper applications um, for those students who are, are um, not wanting to apply or not able to apply online. Um, those are available through our student services, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Um, student services phone number is um, listed right there below, the 925-8560 number. Um, and then uh, like a lot of the other presenters were talking about, we're not requiring ACT scores or um, SAT scores. It does definitely help you in your placement of your class schedule, however. So if you're um, wanting to get say an engineering degree um, and you're into our pre-engineering um, um, uh, program, um, it's gonna involve some math. And so if you take our AccuPlacer or if you haven't taken an ACT or an SAT, um, you can take the AccuPlacer test to help you place into your classes that are, are gonna be suited for your level of expertise. So um, if you're strong in, in um, English, if you're strong in math, this is gonna help you, um, help you uh, pave the path for you. Um, the other thing I wanted to touch on was a little bit um, was FAFSA. So how are you gonna pay for college, right? So that's a big question. Um, so the FAFSA is a very first step, as many of our presenters have talked about. Um, you wanna make sure to go to FAFSA.gov. Um, it's open and um, the quicker you get this done, the, the much more of a, 
of an idea you'll have for what you need to do. Um, and um, there's plenty of support out there for any of the universities. Um, New Mexico offers all kinds of help for students to, to get on and, and get their FAFSA complete. We do have appointments that we book through our campus. If you need help with that, that's what that link is there. Feel free to take a picture of that. Um, and then um, I can also place it on the links um, on the chat box. Um, scholarships, that's the other way you can pay for, for, for college tuition, right? So um, our um, application website for, um, for college um, scholarships is the unmvalencia.awardspring.com. Um, there's plenty of endowment scholarships, um, teacher prep scholarships, and of course, STEM scholarships. Um, so the major type of scholarships you can apply for, you would just simply log on to the page that you see there and that would get you started for our particular campus. Textbooks, I saw somebody talked a little bit about textbooks. Um, the one big piece of advice that I talked to about a lot of, to a lot of high school seniors and even our dual credit students is textbooks can be pretty pricey. Um, so here's a little bit of advice on, um, on curving some of those costs a little bit so they're not so expensive. Um, most of the libraries of the campus will offer reserved books on hand. Um, ours is one of those. Um, again, renting your books or using our, our bookstore with um, used book um, uh, inventory is the first place I would start. And then um, these are some of the programs um, that we offer at our campus. So we offer associate degrees and we offer um, certificate programs. Um, a lot of times students will come to us for the first two years um, that they want to go on to say NMSU or to UNMN campus for a four-year degree. We have uh, um, advisors on, on site who will meet with you virtually and kind of plot that out for yourself so that um, you have a four-year degree plan even though you're starting with a two-year program. Um, and the, this is the directions on how you get into the into looking to see where there's at. So you would go to our website and then click, click on um, um, certificates and degrees under the ValenciaUNM.edu website. Okay, um, so I kind of blasted through that a little quickly and I don't want to overload you guys, but these are contact information. Um, myself and uh, Macy Bach is our financial aid um, uh, manager. She helps with anything financial aid, including FAFSA. Um, we have a couple of people, bilingual staff on our, our, on our, um, on our campus that can definitely help with that. Um, and then of course, um, Noah, who's on our, on our Zoom session as well, works in our staff. Um, he um, helps with a lot of our student admissions. So feel free to ask us any questions. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. All right, we have one more presenter, uh, Sarah from Northern New Mexico College. Uh, if you do plan on asking questions after uh, via chat, go ahead and start typing those in there, uh, and we'll get to them after Sarah uh, with Northern New Mexico College gets done presenting. So take it away, Sarah. Okay, thank you, Brandon. Hi, everybody. My name is Sarah McCormick. I'm the Assistant Director of Recruitment at Northern New Mexico College. And if you would just give me a minute, will I queue up my PowerPoint? Okay, so Northern New Mexico College was established in 1909 as the first Spanish normal school. We are home of the Eagles and we are fully accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. We're located in the town of Española, about 45 minutes north of Santa Fe. We are accessible. We offer small class sizes. Our student to teacher ratio is usually 12 to one. Um, because of that small class size, you as a student receive a lot of individual attention and one-on-one -on -one with your faculty and with your fellow students. And we also offer hands-on learning opportunities at Northern. We believe in experiential education, learning by doing. Um, we also offer a sense of community and family when you're on our campus and um, for our affordability and value. Again, we are small in size. We have about 1,120 students. Um, we're made up predominantly of 70% Hispanic students, 8% Native American, and then we have a number of international students that play for our NAIA Division II 
Eagles basketball team. We offer 12 bachelor's degrees and over 35 associate and certificate programs. Obviously, for the sake of time today, I won't have time to go over all of the programs that we have, but I put together a comprehensive list of our certificates, our associates, and our bachelor's degrees. Some of our popular programs include nursing, excuse me, nursing and health sciences, business, liberal arts, education, and STEM programs. There's a list of our associate degrees. and a list of our bachelor's degrees. Several of our graduates have gone on to pursue advanced degrees at colleges such as Johns Hopkins and Purdue University. And several of our students also have gone on um, to pursue employment opportunities with organizations such as NASA and Los Alamos National Laboratories. We are an open admissions, open enrollment college our application is free. We require a high school diploma or a GED, your official transcript, an ACT or SAT score. If you don't have either of those, we offer the computer-based AccuPlace, AccuPlacer for placement. Um, being open admissions, uh, we do not have a GPA requirement or an SAT, um, ACT score requirement. However, that said, with a higher GPA and a higher test score, of course, you would have more scholarship opportunities at Northern. We pride ourselves in being the most affordable four-year degree in the state of New Mexico and in the Southwest region. I wanna mention that we are DACA accessible, DACA friendly. Um, being a New Mexico high school graduate, DACA students and um, non-DACA students, of course, would be automatically eligible for our tuition, um, our lottery scholarship. And um, if you are a DACA student, you would need to fill out the paper FAFSA. Some of the student support services that we offer to you as a student at Northern New Mexico College include our accessibility services, veterans affairs, our camp college assistant migrant program, a student gym when we're on campus, our library, mental health services. Um, these are all free to you as a student. They are tied into your student fees at Northern. We also have a unique class called the first year experience um, and this really helps you with your transition from high school to college, helps with time management, test taking skills, um, helps you identify scholarships that you qualify for, helps you with those personal statements. We also have a number of free tutoring services at Northern in math, writing, other subjects. We offer a variety of student activities. We have a very robust active student senate on our campus and student ambassadors. And um, we also encourage um, our students to start student clubs if they see something that we don't have, but they're interested in. I believe Brandon mentioned that we would have time for questions at the end of the presentation, but that's my information. Um, if you would like to touch base with me, my number is 505-747-2161. And my email is sarah.mccormick at nnmc.edu. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Sarah, if you can stop sharing your screen, that'd be appreciated. Uh, at this time, uh, we will open it up for questions. Like I mentioned, you're more than welcome to comment uh, in the chat your questions, or uh, if you have any questions for these institutions, you're more than unmute your mic at this time uh, and ask that question. So we will open it up for questions. I do have one question via chat, so I will ask that question. Uh, I have a question for UNM. I have a student who's applied uh, at UNM, I'm wondering how I would send in my high school transcripts. So you can contact your high school counselor and they can send those in to us. 
um, there's a fee within the official. Um, but I will say something that I didn't mention in my presentation that if you can't really access that right now, um, just for some reason, and you have access to an unofficial transcript, you can email that to me and we'll count that as an unofficial. We can still admit you and grant you a scholarship based off that um, and that'll work. And then we'll just ask for the official a little bit later. But usually the high school counselor can send that to us. Some schools use something um, like a platform online to send it. So it just depends on your high school. All right, another question we have. Um, I don't know if this question is geared toward a specific institution, so it's kind of open to anybody who'd like to comment. While in class, uh, are we going to be taught in English or in Spanish or both? I'll go ahead and, and, and respond to that one. For Western New Mexico University, most of our instruction is uh, in English. However, if uh, that's gonna be a challenge for you because we do have a lot of students that um, come from Mexico or you know uh, English is their second language. We do have individuals on campus that can assist you as well as um, we have their Center for Student Success that can provide further tutoring for you. Yeah, and I'll just follow up. I, I know a lot of institutions, I. Uh, you know, offer, uh, you know, Chicano programs. Uh, so definitely something uh, to look into uh, as well. Anybody else? All right. Does UNM or UNM Valencia offer an equivalent to EMU's Greyhound Promise Scholarship for aspiring educators? So for main campus, Albuquerque um, main campus, we do offer um, many scholarships towards our students that wanna pursue education. Um, it's not necessarily a scholarship program, but if you go to coe.unm.edu, that's the College of Education's website under the scholarship tab, you can see the different um, opportunities available for students that wanna go into education and the opportunities that are there. So that's a really good program to do for financial, with financial assistance for sure. All right, real quick. And UNM also, UNM Valencia also offers um, teacher um, education program. Um, and the best bet for that is um, to uh, contact our student services. And um, there's a whole program that's set up for that um, based, on, based on teacher education. Thank you. I want to kind of give uh, opportunities for other institutions to uh, respond to questions. So one of the questions I'm going to ask as the moderator uh, is if you talk a little bit more about maybe campus resources and highlight some of your campus resources uh, that you offer students, uh, especially during this COVID-19 world uh, that we are in. So I will let uh, Jared from New Mexico Tech, if he'd like to talk a little bit about that. Okay, hey, um, so campus resources, it's we kind of offer the kind of the same ones that most of the other universities showed. I just didn't have my slide for it up. Um, but we do, we have the tutoring centers on campus. Um, every department has their own help rooms. Um, most of them hire tutors specifically for their departments to sit in those help rooms as well. Um, we do have counseling center, um, disability services. Um, we have a health center on campus with uh, licensed nurse practitioner, so you can actually get written prescriptions and all that stuff for you on campus as well. Um, COVID wise, I guess there's not really anything too specific with that. Um, of course, just kind of the ramp up with cleaning protocols and all that kind of stuff. Um, we did have students on campus, so I guess something that kind of changed with that. Um, all of the dorm rooms were single rooms this year. Um, unless otherwise requested by students. We did allow students to live um, together in a room if they um, would like to. Um, but yeah, just kind of those same tutoring centers, all that kind of stuff um, that most of the other campuses or all, most of the other schools offer as well, um, we offer also. Thank you, Jared. Would any other institution like to briefly talk about resources? 
I would, Brendan. I forgot to mention during my presentation when I had our student support services up that we are also very excited. Um, since the pandemic, we opened our food pantry. So every three weeks, um, we have been doing food distribution. Students go online, order um, their groceries. We put the bags together. We're such a small, um, small institution that even our, our own president, Dr. Bailey, Dr. Rick Bailey um, is involved in putting those grocery bags together. Um, we get our food do donations through a grant um, with the Santa Fe Food Depot. And we're also very unique in that we, um, we have a farm on our campus. So during the summer, we were able to offer free produce in those grocery bags, um, along with fresh eggs from our local farmers. So I wanted to make sure that our students know that we continue um, the food pantry, uh, especially in light of, of the pandemic and how we know that our students are really struggling. Um, and in addition, we got a grant to be able to give every single one of our students a Chrome notebook when um, they're a student at Northern because we understand that many of the students don't have access um, to devices um, that they can use during this time. Perfect, thank you. I'll allow one more and then I'm gonna to go to a next question. Anybody else wanna talk about resources? Uh, Brandon, if I may, yes. very quickly. Thank you. Uh, can I quickly share my screen? Um, I think that along with what some of the other presenters have already included, we also do here at WNMU, we offer an emergency aid grant. And this is specifically for those individuals or students who are experience, who experience some kind of um, irregular financial hardship. For example, if you um, if you're enrolled full time as a student, and what is considered an emergency aid, if you end up going to the hospital and, and you have a bill that is gonna impact you financially to be able to pay for school, or you have an unexpected car problem, which is gonna inhibit your ability to get to campus. Well, we can help you with that. We'll actually pay you, we'll give you an emergency aid for up to $500. And it's something that's very unique here um, to help with students uh, alleviate some of those struggles that they may encounter along the way. And again, this is unexpected. It's gonna happen in life. Um, so we just want to know that we, we just want you to know that we're here for you. Thank you so much. Thanks for letting me share. Of course. Um, I, there's one question that I would like everybody to answer if they would like. Uh, so what job placement programs do you offer once a degree is obtained? I will let Warrior Brown from IAIA first, if you'd like. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you, Brandon. Well, the very unique thing about IAIA is the very beginning years of our programs and a lot of our programs, um, when people think about art, they often think, you know, you can't really find a job considering that. But being located directly in Santa Fe and considering uh, New, New Mexico's film industry, art industry within the uh, Santa Fe city itself, um, if you haven't had a chance to visit Santa Fe, it's a very prosperous um, art community. So towards the end, it's juniors and senior years of uh, your education here at IAIA, we tend to kind of let go of your hand from like teaching you the art techniques and skills to more of you progressing towards um, working in museums, um, internships. Uh, like I mentioned, you know, um, students who are in the film program actually have the opportunity to uh, work with um, big companies like Netflix or Disney. Um, if you're more into the realms of the studio arts or museum studies, um, you have the opportunity to really start, you know, putting your name out there as, a, as an indigenous artist or um, an artist yourself and uh, really just trying to get more into the community of within Santa Fe and New Mexico. Um, again, it, it'll go farther than that too. We have students all over the country that are um, doing amazing work within the field of art. So we definitely make sure that our students are set up after um, their years had, here at IAIA. Um, and I think that pretty much sums it up. Would anybody else like to comment on that question? So here at UNM, um, we are a very large institution, and I will say a lot of the departments here within various majors offer um, career preparation while you're still in school. Um, we do have an offering through a liberal arts college where you can uh, create your own um, internship opportunity. Um, so that's something that you can put on your resume and take with you into the professional field, as well as we do offer a resource on campus called Career Services, probably like other universities here today. Um, which do help with employability after college. There's many different 
um, like career fairs that come through um, each semester on campus. So that's something that's really helpful that will help you um, with your employability after college. Thank you, Josiah. Sarah? Uh, yes, I also wanted to add that due to our proximity to Los Alamos National Laboratories, we have a very uh, robust internship program that I help facilitate. And um, that's with our STEM students, our business students, um, several of them who are getting their degrees and then go up to the lab as an intern in various fields and are often hired full-time post-graduation. So that's a great opportunity for our students. Luis. Thank you. Uh, our nursing students have 100% job placement our police academy cadets get hired midway through their academy training. Also, we have our career services resources on our website where we provide career fairs every semester. We also provide an academic symposium and we have a robust uh, counselor who helps students polish up their resumes and helps them look for those job careers. Thank you, Luis. Jared? Um, yes, so all of our um, Career service opportunities actually apply from the second you start at New Mexico Tech all the way through while you're an alum as well. Um, but we do have our career fairs, um, one in the fall, one in the spring. Um, they do resume workshops um, and reviews. They'll do cover letter reviews, uh, mock interviews, all that kind of stuff. Um, we do have what we call our career closet. So they offer um, free checkout of professional attire. So if you don't have professional attire and you have a job interview, um, you can go in there, check that out. Um, so you can go into your interview um, looking sharp, ready to go. Um, all the students get access to a program called Handshake as well, um, where they'll update um, with jobs for, um, that's actually, if you're looking for an on-campus job, it's a great place to look. All the, student, all the um, offices will post their jobs there, um, as well as for graduates and everything as well. Um, looking for um, employment opportunities, internship opportunities will be on there also. Um, and again, those are available to you um, all the way through as an alumni as well. Um, all the career fairs as an alum, you're allowed to attend. Um, this year, the virtual one was actually really great. They actually had over a hundred different companies this year. Um, really great job placement rate as well. Usually within, uh, before graduation, we're around 85% of our students already have um, some sort of job or grad school lined up. Um, and then within six months, it jumps up to around uh, 93%. Um, but yeah, those are all kind of the resources there. Thank you, Jared. All right. All right, so the next question, I we have about five more minutes and somebody did ask about class sizes in regards to UNM, but I'd kind of like to expand on that and to finish us all up, uh, talk about class sizes at all these institutions. Uh, and give your final pitch for your institution. So I'll start with UNM uh, and we'll go from there. Awesome, so since UNM is, um, UNM main campus is the largest institution in New Mexico, our class sizes do vary. So our average class size is about 25 to one. So basically that's 25 students for every one instructor. Now there are gonna be classes that are much bigger. You might have 200 people in a class, um, but there are, um, what we do, here is that we kind of section off those 200 people classes um, under teacher's assistance, and then they can help you more directly. So that way, when you email or ask a question, um, that the main professor um, isn't too overwhelmed and also can get back to you in a timely manner, having that teacher's assistance help. Um, so even though we are the largest institution, students really do um, transition very well and fit in um, with our classes. We do try to section off some of the classes that our freshman level into smaller, maybe like 25 um, to 20 students. And then the higher up that you get into your degree, the smaller that they get. So a lot of times three, third and fourth year students only have maybe about 10 to 15 students in their classes, which is really nice. So just know that um, it's not as scary as it seems coming to UNM. Thank you, Josiah. Western? Thank you. So our uh, faculty to student ratio is one to 18. So that means you'll have 18 students to one professor. You'll definitely be working in a small class environment. Uh, and when it comes to your internships or 
um, any type of research opportunities, you will be working one on one with a mentor that will guide you through that process. Uh, IA, IA. All right. Yeah. So kind of back to what I uh, the beginning of my presentation, we have about roughly 600 students. Um, but when you when you're in classes, it's really broken down to eight to one. And, uh, you know, when it really comes to working with art, um, eight to one is a very good number to have. Um, some cases, you know, at most times we or sometimes we have about 15 to one, um, but most of the time it's about eight to one. Perfect. You and in Valencia. Thank you. Um, yes, for the most part, ratio is 15 to 1, um, depending on the program. Um, the nursing program, uh, we do have a four-year nursing program on our campus, um, and that's a pretty tight-knit um, uh, cluster of uh, cohort of students or each, each uh, program that they put together. Um, welding and um, the arts program, it just depends on, on, um, on how many students are in there, but on the average, it's 15 to 1. All right. New Mexico Tech. Um, so student to faculty ratio, we have uh, 12 to 1. Um, average lectures are around 20 to 25. Um, largest lecture we offer is um, 60 students. Um, we have lectures all the way down to one student as independent studies. Um, so kind of a wide range just depends on um, which departments you're going to be going into. Um, I think kind of average class size in our largest department, which is mechanical engineering, is usually around like 30 students. Um, so still not going to be too bad, um, but really just the small class sizes, you really get a great sense of community um, and um, really get to know your peers really well. It's kind of, you see the same people all the time, kind of an everyone knows everyone kind of school. Thank you, Jared. And then lastly, uh, Northern New Mexico College. Typically, our student um, to teacher ratio is 12 to 1. In some of our general education core requirement classes, we can have them be up to 20. And um, I did forget to mention that in our new student orientations um, with our new students, our freshmen coming in, we make a big effort to peer that uh, to pair them with uh, one of our peer mentors who's a sophomore and up. And this really helps our new students with the transition to college. Um, so we've had great success with that. And that's something that we do for our new students. Perfect. Thank you. Well, everyone, I want to thank you all for joining us today. Just some things to keep in mind. It's really hard uh, to fit a lot of information in in six minutes, as I'm sure these admissions professionals can attest to. So make sure that you are visiting their virtual college booths, reaching out to them uh, and participating in anything that they're offering uh, so you can learn more about those institutions. I just dropped a link to our website where you can access a lot of resources. This video, along with our previous session uh, an hour ago, will be posted eventually on our YouTube uh, and on our website. Uh, so make sure that you're uh, coming back and viewing those. We also have uh, a New Mexico College guide that we launched that you can also access on our uh, on our website um, and you know learn about all the institutions uh, in New Mexico. So again, we thank you all for being here today uh, and have a great rest of your day.